In this video, I revisited Fly Haven. Let's see how my former employer does things well here in 2021. Let's go to knock right in. Now, for my last video, please subscribe today. Where we your content every single day would highly, highly appreciate it. Only a small percentage you are actually subscribed. So, if you are new here, please do consider subscribing. Hit the bell for notifications, then I'm to upload a lot of the video so we can tomorrow cross video. Otherwise, let's get to this new sleep SCI. I'm gonna go and scan our passport. Very nice, got our first class. Hello, Keel. And let's go ahead and go through the PE Plus area of security. And I think PHS is running so much better than I thought it would be. Probably because there really is not much people on here because they haven't included economy yet. But I'm sure that, you know, most when most people come here, it's going to get starting a little thing. Before it actually gets laggy, let's go ahead and start exploring the airport. If we start over here, it's like a little photo background where you can take pictures of background here at Fly Haven. Uh, and it's starting to get laggy. Oh no, how many people are on here? Oh no, premium lock off. Oh no. Over here is the Tech Haven showcase room. Uh, Fly Haven actually owns a tech group. So it shows all their stuff they sell. They're like first class investor suites to the premium economy to several other seats and self check-ins. Looks pretty cool. Is here is the fly suit area where you can get suits of different kinds. Actually, they look pretty nice. I do need to get a suit for some very, very, very important event for myself. I got to do that. Down the sleep terminal we go. Over here we have a help desk where you can have questions to ask to this guy over here. And then over here we have, you know, who built the airport, so phenomenal job to them. And over here is the Fly Haven Airways in Information Center. Nobody here, so let's go ahead and jump out of here. And then over here is an arcade. Hello, Luigi. Anyway, there, there you can go ahead and play some Pong here, so if you really, really want to and sit down. I mean, over here, as you can see, if I were to, you just, if I want to control this, and then like there, and I'm like, suck at this, and then I deflected it, and this guy, this blue person will lose. And no, they won't, okay. No. I, 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 okay, went through. I lost to nobody. How embarrassing is that? Over here is Book and Boron, a southern kitchen, and I guess you can get stuff from here. Over here is the Haven Club, which serves premium county, first class investor. It's basically their first class, you know, lounge over here at PHX. Uh, let's go ahead and try to scan our ticket, and we got in. It's just some ample seating, some buffet and stuff. Uh, if we go ahead and come to the back, there's no uh, like bar here. We can get some snack, like a some terror chips. Yeah, very nice. Then over here we have a Shake Shack, and oh my goodness, what is the woo? Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, premium economy investors, blah blah blah, and oh. And anyway, we have some Shake Shack right over here. There really is no cashier right up over there, and then some more gates right there. And then over here is the restroom and the Guterian. The Guterian's only access to investors in high ranks, which unfortunately, um, I'm first class, so I can't access to you. Over here is the Hindman Duty Free Shop, where you can get your your miscellaneous duty free shops from perfumes to magazines to uh, toothbrushes to neck pillows. Oh, there's a nice blue one. I don't know why it's brick shaped. And as we approach the end of the concourse, over here we have the Star Box or Star Blocks. And some regular gate seating right over here. So, how do I feel about Fly Haven's PHX Airport? It's very modern, it's very large. There's a lot of small details that, you know, enhance the economy experience a lot, like the arcade, duty free shops, and all that good stuff that makes it smooth and it feels very nice. It's a 5 out of 5 stars here at the airport of PHX. But that's basically the review of Fly Haven's airport. There's so much left in store, so you better keep on watching. We still have the seat, the in flight team, the crew, food such drink course, the butter landing. So please keep watching. Please do. Let's go ahead and I'll see you guys at boarding. We should have access to the thing, right? Yeah, very nice. Looks like you can go ahead and join in today's seat. I'm gonna go ahead and take this seat right over here and yeah, this was it's just amazing. I haven't flown a seat in a while, but I know this is one of the best seats in Roviation. Starting here on the left, we have this blue like thing. As you can see, it went from here to the back of the, the uh, seat right over here. It's like a nice little cushion. And if we go ahead here, we have some nice little magazines and stuff. There. Apparently, you can actually open it. This like little cabinet. Look at the PM in just a minute, but we have like these like glass of um, like glasses. You can take a nice more storage. But you have the large in-flight entertainment screen, which we'll look at in just a minute. Ample legroom, and over here we have a closing door. Well, a door that you can open and close. So 
Uh, I'm not sure I can really show you, but it would work like this rather than that. If we were to press this button, as you can see, the seat starts to recline into a, a uh, fully flat bed. And if we were to like press it back up right there, as you can see, it's going back to our actual seat. I think there's also a lamp here. Uh, I'm not sure if there is, although there's a cabinet here. Uh, yeah, that's the cabinet. That's what I was looking at. I will whip your lungs out. You're an actual surgeon, right? You, you know that, right? Yeah? And over here we have ourselves a little curtain where we can open and close. That's very nice. This fully closed suite it has a lot of stuff. There's a lot of animation. There's a lot of stuff to do it. It's so detailed. I just love how the seat in the airport goes. And it just, it's, a, it's a great product. I'm sorry, but it's another 5 out of 5 stars here to see. It's phenomenal, and I love it. Now, I'm not sure if they're doing uh, pre-flight right now, but can I have a glass of water, please? I mean, uh, I think they're doing pre-flight. I'm not sure. But now, let's go ahead and look at the large infotainment screen, and we start off with this nice GUI. Well, let's go ahead and press begin, and there's multiple stuff. Starting off with the game section, you have Romace and Lunalander, and it looks like you give the tool, and looks like I, if I were to press play on it, you could play on it. I'm not sure where it went, though. We have the entertainment where you can actually watch movies. Uh, over here we have um, a movie on uh, Rose Shield. It's like Avengers. What do you call someone with no body and no nose? Nobody knows. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> if we go ahead and look at to the stories, we have a walk in the park and a pilot. I mean, as you can see, there's a lot of literature we can go here. I just love aviation, I can agree. The music section here where there's no song, you can of course have a little idea how to find an ID number. Uh, but if you want to put uh, music in here, you can always do that. Flight info, where you can see the altitude and speed. And then the shop section offers a teddy bear for free. It offers the classes uh, and then some ab max. Yeah, it has been a while. It's been 2019. Oh, goodness. I'm sorry for busting your perfect score bubble. But you know, to be honest, <laughs> I'm sorry. But uh, I worked here before, so I'm biased. I got a board of chat here, probably because it's inappropriate for aviation. I think you can know what I'm talking about. And obviously, it's not. It's against YouTube TOS. So, if we ignore that, let's go ahead and start our little, little time lapse all the way to the runway out of PHX, and we're gonna go ahead to the east coast of Boston, Logan. Uh, um, well, um, we can buy food. Um, uh, that was interesting, and I guess that was our takeoff roll. Woo! I was just a chat say, I can't breathe. Help, OMG, we have proceeded. It's the aircraft fault. Yeah, it is the aircraft fault. Well, probably the runway's fault, actually. Before we actually transition to cruise, let's go ahead and go ahead and look at the water. So, as you can see from the time lapse, that they weren't doing pre flights. But I asked for water, um, you know, when they asked or something like that. And they still gave me water, which gives the generosity and how kind the crew are. I mean, there's the water. Very nice. Uh, no animation. Please suspend the air operation. So definitely, I'm just kidding. But, um, back to the eight. I'll see you guys at cruise. Apparently, the host asked for a shout out. So, airspace tech, shout out to you. Hello, Lewis times seven. Uh, let's go ahead and see what I want. Uh, lobster tail, blaze, cheese plate, sparkling cider, and Coke, please. Let's go ahead and see how these people could serve me right now. Into the uh, 757 we go, and let's go ahead and look at the stuff right now. We have the lobster tail, and as you can see with the lobster tail, and it's kind of getting bright, uh, as you can see now, it has an animation with a spoon. We got asparagus, some um, butter with it, and looking pretty nice. The cheese plate, we have an assortment of different cheeses uh, on different sides. We have some grapes too, which, honestly, I don't ever understand how cheese and grapes go together. I don't know how, but... <coughs> yeah. The cheesecake, which apparently came with the cheese plate for some strange reason. Uh, we have a chocolate puree, or maybe that's like raspberry. It looks like it has an animation, it looks where, um, sorry, sorry. Where's the spoon? The crew were fast, they were friendly, even though they didn't even do free flight, they still did their job to serve me water, which I got up there. Probably because of my status, but still, an amazing crew to have. 
I don't see it. The runway thing is not a part of their crew rating because it's just not a part of their control. It's more of the developer's thing. And honestly, the credits did a phenomenal job, so I have to give it a 5 out of 5 stars. I really have to. And there's a lot of detail in the food. Uh, you know, I think honestly, there's some nice animations to it. I will give the food a 4, um, partly because not everything has an animation, but it still looks pretty good, so I think it's pretty good so far. So, so far, Flyhaven is 24 out of possible 25 stars. They have done a phenomenal job so far. But, I think, honestly, let's go ahead and start our time lapse all the way to Lady the 757 all the way to KBOS Boston Logan. So, let's go. Um, I'm sorry, where's your front gear? And now it appears... What? Uh, but that's basically it for today's review here at Fly Haven. I mean, what a great experience. And if you do want to join Fly... Why are you tiny? Uh, if you want to join Fly Haven, uh, obviously please join their group in the description. Though I think most of you have joined them. Uh, welcome to KBOS here at Boston Logan. I mean, there's nothing else to say. But I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do consider subscribing. Uh, yes, it's Bob Sinjur. I have to subscribe. I post Roblox AVH content like PTFS and a video like Steve's, like Roblox Air Interviews. So if you do enjoy the content, just subscribe. I would like that. But guys, thanks for watching, and so I subscribe to And I'll stay take like adios.